Hello, this is Tom from Thai Landscaping. As you can see by this picture, these homeowners are having a problem with stormwater drainage. The customer told us how they would watch the water slowly creep towards the house. The problem is that their backyard is lower than the front yard, so much of the rainwater from the yard and the roof wind up back here. Plus, they're also getting a lot of rainwater from their neighbors, especially a neighbor's driveway because their properties are higher. We'll be installing a large drywall using infiltrator chambers, stone, and filter fabric. This gives the water a place to go underground so it can dissipate into the soil. We'll be installing catch basins to capture the water and stop debris from getting into the drywall. We'll also be tying in downspouts, a sump pump discharge, and an existing smaller drywall. Their front yard goes up, and the front yard is completely flat, if you can see this. Uh, they did ask the town if they had any suggestions. They said maybe you can pump it to the front of the yard, but none of it can go to the street. Now, you saw the picture of the water. Why are they pumping it to the front of the yard? It's impossible. And not to go into the street at all. Tom's taking apart the chambers. This is where they're going. We always lay them out beforehand. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So the dry well is dug. Tomorrow we'll bring stone, fabric, put the chambers in. Okay, so we'll be back in the morning to put the stone in. It looks like a little swimming pool, actually. <laughs> See these chambers hook right in here. They got a hook. You stick it in. You just hook it down. Once the stone's on here, they are very secure. First load of stone. I forgot to show you. This right here is Tom's custom vent and clean out. Once the rock and the dirt's all packed in there nice, there will be a grate on top so any water can fall in. We got the catch basin that is tied into our system. And now there's all fabric around it. We have to just fill that in with stone. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, that's good. So there's a 20 inch catch basin. The dry well is all fabriced and ready for topsoil. We are back on this job. We just got over an inch of rain and I'll show you how well this is doing. We're not even done yet. Customer is very happy. There are some things we just need to finish. I'm gonna show you this wheelbarrow. So this is about how much rain we got last night. Ugh the palm of my hand. That's four to five inches of water in this wear barrel from last night's rain. And it just stopped this morning. So let me show you the planting bed slash levee. So since they get so much water from the neighbors and you can see here, that's the neighbor. They still have water sitting in their yard. You can see here, this is how high the water got. And you can see all the water that's on a neighbor. Normally that water would all be on our side. You can just see here that it did breach over to here. And there's more water over here. And you can see the level. I'll get up on this mound. You can see the level of how high the water got. And you can see that it did breach here and it went over. And went right into the dry well. Dry well worked great. It took up all the customer's water. All right, we're completely finished. And we seeded and strawed. Well, here's the yard. <laughs> 